Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are back to tweaking GPUs again. It might feel old and not relevant anymore, but I was playing around with my 4GB Polaris cards. As long as they still can, I wanted to get as much out of them as possible. As the results were nice, I wanted to make a video about it. We will BIOS mod in high voice and then adjust the overclocks a bit. We are starting with a little spoiler, an office miner I'll have an upcoming video about. This inspired me to do it. I had an old Asus RX 470 which seemed to have a hard time. I could not get it over 22 or 23 megahertz a second anymore. After the BIOS mod I'll show you in a second, it suddenly hashed at over 27 megahertz a second at the same power consumption. So I thought hey, let's try more. The next experiment is to show that it does not always work that great. So I'm turning to my closed RX 580 rig since those are also 4GB cards. I'm selling them here and there and I'm down to only 4 of that model now. Sapphire Pulse. You'll see that BIOS flashing is easy but still only do it at your own risk. First as always save the original BIOS. In HiveOS you can do that in a BIOS cloud it offers for your farm and I do use that but I save them locally as well for editing them and just to be safe. Then we need the tool you saw in the RX 5700 video yet again the red BIOS editor. I'll link it for you below. Here though the changing of straps is a bit different. So we do the following and I'll copy that for you below that you can follow step by step. First copy the 1500 value into the 750 and 2000 straps. Then the 1425 value into the 1625 value. Lastly the 1375 value into the 1425 and into the 1500 strap. After that don't forget to save and keep both BIOS files. And then I just go to the vBIOS cloud storage of Hive yet again to upload the new modded BIOS. You could also just directly flash in the overclocking menu too. In the card overview though, you can prepare them one by one, but then flash them all together with one command. See, success already, and then giving it another reboot. But with the four Sapphire 580s, it did not change much at all. The hash rate is minimally higher. I was trying to tweak a bit more, but they got unstable with more voltage core or memory, even though the memory was already pretty high for four gigabyte cards. To recap for now on the RX 470, it was a success, only a baby success on the RX 580 rig, strangely not really worth it. I have other models from both 470 and 580 in 4GB, so I want to try to reconfirm with them what changes. First is my XFX RX 470. It has a better starting hash rate than the other with 25.5 MHz a second with a generally low power consumption. You saw that I keep my cards way below 100 watts mostly around 80 watts for those. So the same process as before, saving the original, modding a copy with the straps and upload. <laughs> and indeed, it suddenly jumped to almost 29 megahash a second with the same power consumption as before. So yet another success. And next, we do the exactly same thing yet again for my Biostar RX 580, also 4 GB. This one also started around 25 megahash, and also here it worked, it got me to over 28 megahash a second. Again, I tried to return to the sapphires, maybe I made a mistake and did everything again, but no, strangely with those cards, it only got me from slightly below to slightly above 26 megahash a second. So only minimal increase. All in all, still every single card performed from way better to at least a little bit better. So absolutely no complaints. That's already it. Basically, with a little bit of clicking around, we increased my total hash rate by a little bit today without using more power. I say it's worth it. If you want to sell your card further down the line, just flash the original BIOS back and no harm is done. I hope you enjoyed. Are there other combination of memory timings you are using for your Polaris cards? And do you even still mine on Polaris? Let me know below. I'm glad to have gotten some more life out of them today for as long as 4GB are still fine. The office miner I spoiled a bit in this video will of course get its own dedicated video soon. I hope all of you are doing well out there. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto content. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.